business car is now turning on to Elm Street, and it will be only a matter of minutes before he arrives at the trademark. It, it, it appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. November 22, 1963, a date that's gone down in history. More than 50 years later, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy remains one of the most contentious events in American history. Before that date, Americans were remarkably trusting in the credibility of their government. After November 22nd, the deterioration began. The theories are many. The president was killed by the Russians. It was a mafia hit. Some even think it was a covert coup d'etat. Today, after decades of doubts, Americans hope to uncover the truth, as the FBI releases 3,100 never-before-seen files on the JFK murder investigation. The government's official line is that Kennedy was killed by a young former U.S. Marine named Lee Harvey Oswald, who acted alone. While experts say not to expect the revelation of any bombshells, like the possibility of a second shooter, there could be new evidence of an elaborate CIA cover-up. I think the evidence is pretty clear that Oswald was the only shooter. What I don't eliminate is the possibility he was encouraged to do it, was aided to do it, or at least that he told other people he was going to do it. Intelligence agencies claimed they knew little of Oswald before the assassination. But previously declassified CIA documents showed the agency had been monitoring him as early as 1959, when he tried to defect to Moscow.